What's up, what's up? It's your boy JC coming at you again from Pattaya, Thailand today. Yeah, I came down, spent a couple days with Rich, picked up my passport and my visa from Mott's Visa Services. So that didn't take very long. Very happy with that. But let's go ahead and get into the topic of today's video. It's not gonna be terribly long, but it is terribly important. So they have been talking about, uh, when I say they, the Thai government has been working on extending the visa waiver upon entry for a bunch of countries, including all Western countries. I believe the list is 90 or so now. There's a big difference between a visa on arrival and a, and a, uh, and a visa waiver. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see what's going on here. It's kind of quiet. It's a big weekend. It's the biggest Buddhist holiday weekend here. And here in Pattaya, they're having the big annual marathon, which lasts two days. So yeah, take it in. We're gonna go up here across the street and then keep walking and talking. So a visa upon arrival is for certain countries. And when you get here and you arrive at the airport, you go to the visa desk. You go to the visa desk and they will go ahead and issue you a visa. Easy peasy. But those countries have to have a visa in order to be here. And that's a visa on arrival in a nutshell. When it comes to a visa waiver, that's for those of us who are used to coming here and other countries, and we just go into immigration, we go through the line, they look at our passport, stamp, stamp, and we're done. So they've been working on changing that from 30 days to 60 days. There was a little uh, announcement, there was an announcement, and then they announced that it was happening before it was quite ready. Uh, but sometimes things, you know, not everything goes as quickly and as smoothly as they plan, and, and that's okay. Uh, but now, as of last week, uh, people that are entering who qualify are getting a 60-day visa waiver upon arrival. So that means that you don't have to go to immigration after 30 days to extend if you wanted to stay here for more than a month. Now. I follow some people that are really smart on this matter and they are still uncertain as to if you can go and get another 30 day extension after your initial 60 days is over with. This is an issue that, I don't know, it's just not clear at the moment. But, you know, I think that's not such a big deal for most of you. The big news is that you can touch down and you can get 60 days right off the bat. And that, that is the good news, that is the big news. And it's not that getting an extension for us was an inconvenience per se, but it did cause a lot of extra strain on it, it did put a lot of extra strain on the immigration services. Um, and, and so this is going to relieve a lot of, a lot of stress on them, uh, which, is, which is good. That means that they can focus on, on more important issues, uh, you know, and issues that are more relevant, such as more tightly regulating immigration and dealing with people who overstay or shouldn't be here. So, Yep, that's the, that's the big change. I know I'm not the first person to report on it. But because this is, these are some of the types of issues that I cover, I needed to go ahead and do it. I didn't want to, I didn't want to jump the gun like some people have accidentally done. But yeah, it's clear, it's official and it's, it's a done deal. So 
So if you were to fly in today or tomorrow or last week, you got 60 days when you got here. If you're from Western countries, and they expanded the list from 50 or so to 90, 93, 96, something like that. So, so yeah, it's a good time to be here. It's the off season, it's the rainy season. And uh, yeah, if, you, uh, if you're so inclined, buy a ticket, book a room, hop on a plane, and come on over. Like, subscribe, comment. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one consulting, shoot me an email in the description. And if you're interested in joining the private Telegram group, where we got a group of almost 60 guys with varying degrees of experience, where we're creating community, we answer your questions, everything from uh, places to party, service rates, services, all the way through to TRT, men's health, and other reasons that, that bring us here. We got coverage in Bangkok. We got coverage in Pattaya, thanks to our brother Rich, who I want to give a big shout out to. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. It's your boy JC. Peace out.